let's talk about testing for SIBO. Okay, so the name of the test is a SIBO lactulose breath test, and you can buy it um, privately online um, through this company, or you can get it usually for a reduced cost through a naturopathic doctor. And there is a little bit of prep for the SIBO lactulose breath test. And so they ask that 14 days prior, you don't do any antibiotics and uh, no colonoscopies, barium studies, or enemas. So like nothing that affects the GI system, basically. And then there's also a protocol for the 24 hours before you start the test. And so the first 12 hours, you're on a restricted diet, and that can include only baked or broiled chicken, fish, or turkey with salt and pepper only, plain steamed white rice, eggs, clear chicken or beef broth, not bone broth or bouillon, and oils or fats. So like coconut, olive, vegetable oils, butter or lard, and white bread only. After doing the 12 hour restricted diet, then you go on to do 12 hours of fasting. And um, so you can drink water only, and they ask you not to brush your tooth, you brush your teeth or use mouthwash if you can. And so the reason for doing that 24 hour protocol is to try and starve the bacteria for as long as possible by giving it no sugars and no fibers so that when you do the lactulose test, it will feed the bacteria, which will then give the results of the hydrogen or methane, etc. And it'll show up on the test. And so typically a patient will do the 12 hours of the restricted diet in the morning until the end of the day, and then they do the 12 hours of fasting overnight, which I'm going to be doing later this week. And so when it comes to testing time, you're going to take um, a liquid that is um, basically made of sugar and that feeds the bacteria. And then you're going to blow into a contraption and that's going to uh, take a sample of your breath. And then that breath inside of that tube is what you're going to be sending back to the lab. And I believe you test about six times over the course of two or three hours. And I'm gonna be retesting my SIBO later on this week. So I will make some content as we go along so that you can see what the testing is like.